So it's all very confusing, folks. So you've got ex-VP Pence out there saying that he won't support Trump in this campaign coming up for about three or four reasons. One of those, which is the IVF ruling that the Alabama Supreme Court made, and he feels that Trump came out and sort of shaded that ruling, like, oh, I don't know if that was such a good idea. Um, and then juxtapose that, if you will, with this group that's going to be down at Mar-a-Lago, what is it, Tuesday, March 19th, and they're going to be uh, talking about one of the things, all these different rights and and things that are that the government is is coming at you for. You know, the government government is coming at you, and one of the things is abortion rights. And so they're down there because they think Trump is the best guy in the world for abortion rights. So it's really strange. You've got these two groups: one that lists the reason of abortion, you know, Pence, and then you've got the other group saying, "Oh yeah, we like Trump because of his abortion stance." So. It's uh, it's weird, it's confusing, but here's Pence, folks. Have a listen. Not just uh, our difference on my constitutional duties that I exercised on January the 6th. I mean, as, as I have watched his candidacy unfold, I've seen him walking away uh, from uh, our commitment to uh, confronting the national debt. I've seen him uh, starting to, to shy away from a, a commitment to the sanctity of human life. And this last... And so he's talking about this, folks. He's talking about that Alabama Supreme Court ruling that embryos, including those kept outside of the uterus, are children under the state's wrongful death of a minor act, right? They're, they're now children. And keep in mind that these embryos are two to five days old, and they think they look like this. So that's one of the reasons why Pence doesn't support Trump coming up. So let's juxtapose that with the the group Catholics to Catholics that's going to be down in Mar-a-Lago and how they think that the big man, they call him the big man Trump, is going to come out and support their campaign because one of the things is he's so good and strong on abortion rights. So here's the placard that they've got. And this is March 19th at 6 p.m. And they've got a whole panoply of screwballs that's, that are going to be there talking about it, folks. But... Um, Here's what he had to say. So this is John Yep with Catholics for Catholics. Communism, the targets are the same. The family, the kids, the right, the right to religion. So we're going to lay out those cases very specifically, the way we see that. You know, the weaponization of government. We cannot forget the DOJ coming after specifically Catholics, right? We have got to bring that up. We will show that. We're going to have Steve Friend, FBI whistleblower, uh, elaborate on that. We're so... Here's what that guy, Steve Friend, I think he got that kind of confused because here's the, the big deal with Steve Friend, this guy, according to the American press, his big claim is, and this is a quote from Steve Friend, typically you would investigate January 6th as one case with lots of subjects, but instead the DOJ decision was made to open up a separate case for every single individual there, and it made it look like there was a domestic terrorism cases and activities that were going on all over the place. So that's that's his claim. It's got nothing to do with Catholicism or anything like that, folks. That is what Steve Friend is all about. So I think he kind of screwed that one up or he's just pulling that one out of his rear end, right? Um, weird stuff here. These these it, It's all about weaponization. And ch listen to a little bit further what he says and how they weaponize things. We're going to see their, uh, the, come, the way that they've really come at hard on the abortion issue to the extreme, where now we have 10 states which are trying to enshrine the right to kill whatever stage uh, that, that, new, that unborn child in the womb. Okay, we're gonna... You know, keep in mind that they've just overturned Roe v. Wade, and they're not happy with that. They, they want a total ban on anything all the way up to the frozen baby stage like we just talked about. They're not happy till they get there. We're going to remind Catholics that this is what's going on in this election cycle. But then we're going to see the way they're, they're ultimately coming after uh, the destruction of our border. And the first consequence, the people who suffer the most are the kids. Child okay, so this is interesting. So he's talking about children, kids that are immigrants that are suffering the most. Never mind the fact that under the Trump, you know, administration last go around that they had the child separation policy right, with Stephen Miller, where they were literally putting kids in camps. Now, you talk about something that's tangible that hurts kids, there's something. And this whole thing about child trafficking is not happening, folks. 
child sex trafficking. That is why Jim Caviezel and Tim Ballard and then Tom Homan uh, will be there as well to talk about that, to bring light to that issue. This is what's at stake, people, okay? And then ultimately we have the parental rights, the way they're experimenting with our kids. The state thinks that they have the right to enter our, our homes and tell our kids what gender they should be, okay? So on that, folks, I just want to show you this map. So in red, you can see the, the 20 some odd, 22 states, I think, that have banned uh, gender, transgender care for anyone under 18, regardless of what the parent says. So it's just the opposite. Parental rights don't mean anything in the states in red, right? No matter what the parent wants, you can't get gender affirming care. So they really have you know, they're, they're manipulating the truth. They're, they're twisting the truth, folks, for their own good. And really what they're doing is they've weaponized, they're trying to weaponize religion. Uh, and we'll see the big man himself uh, and, and makes us uh, That's Trump. stop on stage. Look, we are going to identify the issue. We will amplify the solution. We will pray for victory. And we will be guided by the sword of St. Michael. The sword of St. Michael will be before us to strike down our enemies. People need to remember that this is spiritual warfare. It's taking place on the spiritual metaphysical. So it's really about weaponizing religion, folks, and they're using a false narrative to do it. And I hope they've got some good video coming out on the 19th because I want to be there for it and we'll see just what the hell kind of crazy is going on down at Mar-a-Lago. But interesting, isn't it? That juxtaposition where you've got two groups, one that is is there because Trump is so strong, they think on abortion, and then the pen server here say, no, he's not. No, no. frozen babies. It's confusing. Till next time, folks.